in minus 40 degree weather. A dog, with a leash in its mouth, carefully walks across the ice, gradually approaching Davis McClellan in a frozen river, in order to distribute its weight. It lies on its back on the ice and advances cautiously, fearing that if it is not careful it will step into a hole in the ice. Despite the danger, it does not hesitate, trusting that its owner will pull it back at the critical moment. At last, it reaches Davis McClellan and puts the rope around his neck, successfully accomplishing the rescue mission. Soon after, he returned to the bank and, under the command of his owner Jerry Shepard, led the other eight dogs in a concerted effort to successfully rescue Davis McClellan from the icy waters of the river. The joy was short-lived. However, as a blizzard was approaching, if they didn't leave soon, they would all freeze to death. So Jerry Shepard immediately made sure Davis McClellan was warm and then ordered the eight dogs to run for their lives. In these frigid conditions, the dogs were the only ones relied upon to get out quickly. Fortunately, they worked together seamlessly. Maya, as the leader, sprinted toward the camp against the strongest of the cold winds. The blizzard had disheartened Jerry Shepard, who had entrusted his life to these loyal dogs. True to her word, Maya led her pals on a sprint through an icy wilderness. Finally, they managed to bring the injured Davis McClellan back to camp. Jerry Shepard looked at Maya gratefully as it accomplished another difficult task. As the storm at the base intensified, they had to make an emergency evacuation, due to the limited capacity of the helicopter. They were only able to leave eight dogs behind and planned to return to take them when the storm abetted. Before leaving, they chained the dogs to keep them from wandering off. Jerry Shepard assured Maya that he would return in two or three days to take the dogs. After that, they reluctantly boarded the airplane. As the plane slowly took off, the dogs seemed to realize that they had been abandoned. They kept barking in the distance, hoping their owner would take them away. Unfortunately, the plane flew over their heads, abandoning them completely. The eight dogs waited patiently, confident that their master would return soon, not realizing that they had been waiting for six whole months. When Jerry Shepard woke up in the hospital, Three days had passed. Learning that his dog had not been returned, he immediately found his female companion to find out what had happened. That's when he learned that the entire expedition had cancelled their rescue operation due to the severe snowstorm that had hit the base. They would not be able to return until the following spring at the earliest. Disheartened, Jerry Shepard went to the command center, hoping the officers would send a plane to take him back. In just a few hours, he could get all his dogs back. However, subordinates told the officers that the plane's engine was frozen and that in two days, a bigger blizzard was expected. By then, the entire Antarctic would be in a cold winter and the dogs would not be able to survive the blizzard. At this very moment, eight abandoned dogs are still near the base, starving and freezing in the blizzard for four days. The high winds have blown away the base's flags, making the dogs increasingly agitated. The strong Max manages to break free of his chains and retrieve his master's flag. At the sight of this, the other dogs also struggle to break free from their restraints. Only the aged old Jack remains trapped in place due to lack of stamina. They kept running and barking, not knowing what to do next. All they could do was wait stupidly in the same place, afraid that their master would come back and not be able to find them. They stayed like this for 15 days. One day, a bird suddenly flew by. The dogs, who had been hungry for days, found new motivation. In order to fill their stomachs, they all frantically chased the bird. Only the oldest, old Jack, was trapped in the snow. As the leader, Maya decisively stays behind to help bite old Jack's chain, but is refused. Instead, it patiently strokes old Jack's head and encourages him to be strong. Feeling too old to drag the team down, old Jack chose to lie quietly in the snow, waiting for his master to return. In desperation, Maya gently licked old Jack's head. Later, Maya respected old Jack's decision and left alone, making old Jack the first of the eight dogs to be sacrificed. Meanwhile, the other dogs were frantically chasing the bird. In a moment of impulse, Max barked at the bird, scaring it away. Seeing this scene, Maya started assigning tasks to the dogs. Several of the dogs sneaked around the back, and Maya purposely climbed to the front and approached the bird when it gave the command. With that, the dogs sprinted forward and launched a group attack on the panicked bird. They were all agile, and each of them had a bountiful harvest. However, none of them chose to eat the food. Instead, they placed all the food in front of Maya. Despite their hunger, not a single dog chose to eat alone. They let Maya redistribute the food, persisting in this way day after day, in the blink of an eye. 50 days passed, and the eight dogs were still waiting patiently for their owner to return. One night, they lay on the ground quietly enjoying the beautiful Aurora. The restless Max, exceptionally excited, insisted on running out to chase the Aurora. Other dogs were also influenced and followed into the snowy field to play and frolic. Unaware that tragedy was about to strike again, Truman stepped into thin air and fell off a cliff. Upon seeing this, companions rushed over to check. But Truman was seriously injured and unable to move. His companions were powerless, so they lay on him to provide warmth. 
hoping Truman could endure the cold winter night. As the snowstorm grew, the dogs were completely submerged in white snow. The next day, when they woke up to assess the situation, they discovered Truman had already frozen to death in the snow. As the leader, Maya felt an overwhelming sadness, but it knew she had to lead the group to find a new way. The other dogs were gone, and only Max remained. At this moment, Max was filled with infinite regret. If it hadn't led the chase for the Aurora, Truman wouldn't have frozen to death. It wanted to wait a little longer, hoping for a miracle. But unfortunately, Truman never woke up. In his extreme grief, Max had no choice but to leave. It was then that Max realized it had lost track of its companions, and the blizzard had obscured its vision. Max can only return to the base by himself, but the gates of the base are locked, and all it can do is sit quietly and hope that its master will miraculously appear. However, over four months passed in the blink of an eye, and Max still hadn't seen its owner and hadn't found its lost companions. Just as Max is starving and desperate, it finally spots a stranded whale up ahead. Ignoring all danger, he rushes forward, hungry for three days, thinking he can feast. To its surprise, a seal suddenly causing Max to back away. At the sight of the massive seal, Max had to retreat to a corner and contemplate a countermeasure. Just when Max was at a loss for words, his companions, who had been separated for five months, finally arrived. With just one look, Max and the leader, Maya, agreed on a plan. Max was in charge of approaching from the side, deliberately barking at the seal to attract its attention. After tearing off a chunk of fish, Max scampered away, unable to accept sharing his food. The seal quickly jumped into the river in pursuit. Seeing the seal in hot pursuit, it was clear that it would not let Max go easily. Maya and its other companions seized the opportunity and enjoyed a hearty meal. After chasing for a while, the seal suddenly realized that it had been fooled. It quickly turned back, bit Maya's hind leg and dragged it away. Max witnessed this and sprinted a hundred meters, frantically biting at the seal's back as the other dogs took the opportunity to attack. The seal is tough but outnumbered and eventually escapes back into the glacier in disarray. The dogs finally grabbed the food, but Maya's hind legs were injured. In the harsh weather of minus 40 degrees Celsius, Maya was unable to stand, and even a minor injury could have resulted in death. Maya understands that her time is limited. However, as the leader, it had to stay strong. Despite her leg injury, it continued to lead her companions to survival. They held on for another month. One day, Maya could no longer endure the pain and collapsed to the ground. Instead of abandoning it, her companions stayed by her side and waited silently. On the other side, ever since Jerry Shepard abandoned the dogs, he has been restless, constantly trying to find a way to reach Antarctica. He first sought out Davis McLaren, who had been saved by the dogs in Antarctica, thinking Davis might have a solution. To his surprise, It's not possible. Davis McLaren's response was disappointing. In Davis's eyes, the dogs were just tools, and discarding them wasn't a big deal. However, Jerry Shepard had spent 10 years with them, treating the dogs like family. Giving up on rescuing them was not an option for him. Finally, the following spring arrived, and Jerry Shepard decided to venture alone to Antarctica. To his dismay, he found no one willing to rent a ship to him. In the harsh cold of Antarctica, ordinary ships were like toys, and going there would mean certain death. In Jerry Shepard's moment of despair, an old colleague stepped forward. It turned out that Davis McLaren, moved by Jerry Shepard's determination, had funded the rental of an icebreaker ship to help Jerry and his team rescue the dogs. By this time, the dogs had endured several days in the bitter cold. One day, with the weather warming up, Max and the companions caught a few seabirds and, as usual, presented them to Maya. However, at this moment, Maya understood that her time was running out. Limping, it took the food in her mouth and handed it to Max, expressing her hope that Max would lead the companions to persist. Seeing this, the other dogs immediately grasped Maya's intention. They placed the food they had caught in front of Max, forming a queue, waiting for it to distribute. Max understood the weight of responsibility. It didn't want Maya to give up prioritizing Maya. It distributed the food to her first. The other dogs carried their food elsewhere to enjoy it. Max chose to stay, keeping Maya company. When the snow covered their backs, Max lay on top of Maya to keep her warm, hoping it would stay strong. After surviving the harsh conditions in Antarctica for 180 days, the dogs finally welcomed Jerry Shepard's return. When he saw old Jack frozen in place, a wave of sorrow hit him. He feared the other dogs had suffered the same fate as old Jack. However, when he tugged at the iron chain, he realized that the dogs had already freed themselves from the restraints. This meant they were still alive. The sound of the iron chain caught the attention of dogs not far away. A few minutes later, Jerry Shepard was overjoyed to see the dogs appearing on the opposite hill. He could hardly believe his eyes because shortly after, 
for other dogs emerged one by one. Witnessing this, everyone was ecstatic. Jerry Shepard ran towards the dogs, and the dogs, without hesitation, ran towards their owner. In that moment, a touching reunion unfolded. After 180 days, the dogs finally reunited with their owner. Jerry Shepard looked towards the hill and noticed that the leader, Maya, was yet to appear. He decided to take the five dogs away from there. However, Max refused to leave and kept looking back. Following Max, Jerry Shepard discovered that the injured Maya was still lying there. Jerry Shepard called out to Maya incessantly, but Maya remained motionless until Jerry Shepard placed his hand on Maya's head, sensing the touch of her owner. Maya woke up. In that moment, Jerry Shepard was overwhelmed with joy. He lifted the resilient warrior and decided to take Maya home together. This is a true story. Eight dogs survived the harsh conditions in Antarctica for 180 days, finally receiving rescue from their owner. With their actions, the dogs proved the saying, they will always be humans' most loyal friends. I am a movie lover. Looking forward to seeing you in the next film.